hands up in the air. Put your hands up in the air. Put your hands up. Hands up in the air. Put your hands up in the air. Oxidative stress is a state of the body in which there is an excess of free radicals present. A free radical is a molecule in an unstable state because it's missing an electron. To gain stability, it takes an electron from a nearby molecule. This can happen in any part of the cellular structure, for example, in the cell membrane or within DNA. Because that second molecule is now unstable, it in turn needs to regain its stability by taking electrons from another molecule. Now, a domino effect of electron stealing begins. Without mediation, this process can lead to the destruction of cellular structures, in this case, the cell membrane. Free radicals are produced naturally throughout the body as byproducts of cellular metabolic processes. Therefore, our cells come equipped with the molecules to get rid of these free radicals. The problem comes when there is an excess of free radicals and our cells can no longer keep up. This is called oxidative stress load. Examples of free radicals include reactive oxygen species, which are a group of electron-stealing molecules that include oxygen in their chemistry. Some of these species are hydrogen peroxide, hypochlorous acid, and nitric oxide. So what type of factors cause the body to have an imbalanced load of oxidative stress? Smoking, excessive exercise, poor diet, excess drinking, radiation, UV light, pollutants, and toxins. If the continuous domino effect of stealing electrons were to continue with no intervention, cells would eventually disintegrate and organs would fail. Oxidative stress can also lead to chronic inflammation response and an inappropriate upregulation of the immune system, both of which lead to chronic diseases such as coronary artery disease, allergies, autoimmune disorders, cancer, diabetes, and the list goes on. It's not all bad news. Two behaviors that studies show are beneficial to reducing oxidative stress load, healthy eating and moderate exercise. The end result of both is an increase in antioxidants. Antioxidants are molecules that are able to donate electrons without themselves becoming unstable. They essentially interrupt the breaking down of cellular membranes. Certain foods are great sources of antioxidants such as dark berries, bitter leafy greens, but a lot of fruits and vegetables in general contain antioxidants. Oxidation is a normal part of the cell cycle, but when the cells are overwhelmed with an imbalance between ROS and antioxidants, they can enter a state of oxidative stress. When cells struggle in this state, their abilities to carry out their respective processes efficiently are hindered. Eventually, this can result in chronic debilitating diseases, which can include cancer, arthrosclerosis, arthritis, and colitis. Eating a balanced diet full of antioxidant-rich foods and exercising in moderation can help maintain a healthy balance between the ROSs and the antioxidants present within our cells, which will, in turn, reduce our oxidative stress load. You only live once. Which life do you want to live?